Hi, I'm Chris Sargent, and today I'm going to be explaining to you the differences between face and humanoid detection in Smart Event on an MVR. To start with, you need to go over to the system settings and then go to your uh, Smart Events. From there, you will see that we have face detection enabled for the first thing, but in order for it to actually know when to trigger and look for a face, we need some line crossing in the software. So, as you can see, we start by drawing a line, a predetermined line in our video feed. Once there, we have channel recording and full screen monitor recording in order to be able to show that the camera has triggered a smart event. As you can see here, we then go into recordings and on the channel, which the camera is, where we set the smart event, which is five, we are going to give every single day of the week a full line across the board for smart events. So at all times, it will always try and record smart events if it triggers any. As you can see in the preview, my co-walker Simon is going to walk past the camera. With face detection on, as you can see, nothing happens. This is due to the fact that face detection will not actually trigger a smart event unless you walk past the camera with your face in view for it to detect. So as you'll notice, as he walks back across, this time across the same line, the, camera, the screen has gone full. This is to show that the smart event is triggered. From here, we're gonna go over to the settings and we're going to change the smart event from phrase detection to humanoid detection. In this mode, it'll only trigger if it actually detects someone as a humanoid shape. So a person, any type of person walking past. So as you'll notice, Simon is gonna walk past again and once he has passed the line we drew in the software, it is once again gone full screen. Unlike before though, this is when he was walking out and his back was to the camera. And as you will see any second now, he's gonna walk right back in and the camera is once again going to go into full screen monitoring mode. And there he goes, notice he's keeping his back to the camera. From here, you can go into playback on the recorder, go to the channel which you have set the smart event on, and once you have searched, you're going to first see a green bar, which is going to be all your normal recordings for the day. This will be if you were doing something like 24-7 recording. However, once you select the blue option, you're going to see there's some little blue bars across the screen. These are all the smart events that have been captured due to the face detection and the humanoid detection. As you can see, it's all Simon walking across to and from the camera, walking out of the room and into the room. These are all the smart events that have been triggered by the camera. You can then go into file management and from here, you can look at human files. These are all the images that the MVR will have taken through the smart events once it triggers someone on the camera. It will take a picture just to make sure that you know who has been triggered on the smart events. As you can see, we have plenty on our MVR, but not only that, if you click on the picture, you can see when it was recorded. A very small snippet, as you can see. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, night, morning, wherever you guys are. And we'll see you next time. This is Domar, CCTV, signing out.